Hello everybody, welcome back again to the Milo Farms channel. Today I got a little bit of a review on a new product I picked up here a few months ago called the Fence Alarm. It's made by a company called Farm Alert LLC. If you just Google it, you can find the, uh, the product right there on the, on the internet. Um, I picked mine up from the Ken Cove catalog. At the time they had a promotion. If you buy it, you get a year of free service, which is the monthly monitoring for $8 a month is what it would normally cost you. You get the service for a year for free. Um, so this is a great product if you have an electric fence like I do right here. I've got this all the way around the pasture here on the farm. And uh, what this product does is uh, it will keep you updated via text message on your status of your electric fence. So if uh, the fence goes down for some reason and goes to zero, it'll send you a text message. Or if the fence gets low due to damage to the fence or to weed load on the fence, it will also send you an alert. And it'll do all those via text message. Um, so what I've got set up here, I've got it set up at the very end of my fence. Uh, the fence goes all the way around the pasture here to my right. And then this right here would be the very end of it where it ends back at the barn. Um, so I'll show you here on my flip phone uh, how this kind of works. Uh, if you want to do a update text message, right here you can see on the screen, hopefully we can see with the sunlight. So all I got to do is just respond to the last text message with just the letter S and send that message to the text, to excuse me, to the fence alarm and it will immediately respond back. And as you can see today, we have a fence voltage of 10,200 volts, which is usually about where it runs. Then we also have, uh, it says the threshold. The threshold is the place at which it will alert you if it gets below, so in this case, 2,000 volts. And then the monitor battery voltage is the voltage in the fence alarm itself for the battery and that's charged via the solar panel on the face of it and it's in the sun right now that's why it's a little higher than six volts but uh, that battery so far haven't had any issues with it had it about six months or so no problems at all um, on the front of it here it also has a switch right down here at the bottom I don't know if you can see it uh, right here there's a, an on and off and charge switch. So when you first get it, they recommend that you put the switch into the charge position, let it sit for a couple days, and then you switch it to the on position. Um, it will go through a boot up cycle and it will flash the light on the front there in the different colors. There's a little chart on the side here that'll show you exactly what all those colors mean. Um, it, it'll boot up and it'll send you the first text message and it'll tell you what the voltage is currently. <coughs> excuse me, what the voltage is currently. And then beyond that, each time, every single day at the same time in which you turn the unit on, it will send you a text message updating you with the daily status of it. Um, so similar to that message I just showed you. And then if the fence for some reason has an issue, it gets below the threshold or it goes to zero, it will, within about a minute, it will send you an update and tell you that there's a problem to your, your phone. Um, there's also a phone app that you can get if you have a smartphone. You can do that too, and that's a handy app. You just download it from the App Store or however you get those. And then uh, you can monitor it that way. You can also change some settings and you can set who would get the text message updates and so on. There's some graphs and handy things on there too. So been real happy with this product. I think it was around $250 to $300 when I bought it, so it was a little pricey. But for the amount of security it provides and the, the uh, comfort that it gives on the fence, uh, knowing the status of it without even having to go out there and, and walk it, um, I think you still should probably walk the fence you know, once a week or better to make sure if it's not a huge fence. But this will definitely give you an idea of where you're at, and once you get really used to the readings on the fence, you can kind of figure out, well, is there just a small short or is it something more serious? So again, this was a review for the fence alarm made by Farm Alert LLC. It's been a great product, been real happy with it, and uh, would highly recommend it. So we'll see you next time here on Milo Farms.